Hey everyone, today's topic is how to adjust the transform effect animation path. Transform animation have additional keyframe controls you can use to fine tune the animation path. To show these, you first need to create a simple three corner effect. Let's see how to do that. First of all, select a clip and using transform add keyframe button. Let me do that. So first I'm gonna choose a playhead click on transform and then I'm gonna reduce like this I go place right over here and then click on over here so now once I clicked on keyframe I simply move a click on the middle of my clip to change the playhead and now I'm simply gonna drag this like this so I have like two corners. Now to add the third corner, I simply click on the playhead towards end of my clip and simply move again. So now as we have seen, keyframe is automatic added and the red line extends to the new point, we can see. And if you want to navigate between the keyframe, simply click the white square along the red line. So this is my third keyframe. If I want to go to second, I click over here. I want to go to first I click over here so you can simply navigate anywhere so now you can control click a keyframe and then choose some options so let me do that so I'm gonna click control and click right over here so I have few options over here so let's understand so the first one is linear so here you can use for direct non curve path in and out of that keyframe with smooth, you can use for curve path in and out of that keyframe, providing a more natural movement. And then we have delete point. Here it is used to delete that keyframe. We have a lock point. Here it is used to prevent that keyframe from being adjusted. It changes to unlock point once set. And the last one is disable point. Here you can use to ignore that keyframe, but keep the keyframe in place in case you want to use it later. It, change, it changes to enable point once it's set. If you guys have any questions, please comment below and I'm going to respond to that. Also stay tuned for more videos on Final Cut Pro. Thank you.